guys, it's Hope from Cedaholic Gardens, and I'm really excited to be here again today because I'm back at the church, told you I'd be here, and I just wanted you to see how much these tomatoes have grown in a couple of weeks, about a month, and these peppers too. It's getting a little chilly here in Chicago, so I'm hopeful to get some harvest off of them. And then those eggplant, it looks like in about a week I'll have some. I've got a bunch of tomatoes on that patio baby tomato. We had to string it up as you see because it was literally shading everything out. So I don't have a lot of peppers, but except for my little Thai hot chilies in here. Look at all these cute little red peppers in here. Even though they were getting shaded out pretty bad, they still, as the movie says, nature will find a way, and it does. These are carrots that I seeded in here a few weeks back. So I'll have some carrots, and I'll be putting more carrot seeds in here since they took well here. So I'll have these all a uh, month. And he's showing you right now cucumber seeds I put in about a month ago. So I'm hopeful that they will grab hold of this rope and grow right up. There's even one on this side. i got to get another rope for them to grow. Then... We used rope because that's what we had. Like we always tell you, don't go buy stuff. Just use what you got. We had rope, we used it. And down here, these are Desi squash. Oh, I just knocked off that blossom, but that's okay. Here's a nice size one back here. In about a week, that'll be good. And I'll be eating that or sharing that. Are the flowers edible? The flowers on squash are indeed edible. So, yes, I could technically eat that today. But I wanted to get some squash to harvest to share. There's some um, Swiss chard, the ruby red. I got seeds from Luke, and I got seeds from the winter sowing site. My sorrel has gotten huge over here. And this is our spaghetti squash that we never got a chance to build a trellis. We just didn't do trellises this year, but um, except at the yard. There are one, two, three that I see, big ones. Four big ones, he says. <laughs> and then over here, there's a bunch of peppers on this side of the bed. There's also eggplant and tomatoes on this side as well. And we'll be hopefully harvesting until mid-October if weather holds here in Chicago. I may copy Paula and just do some PVC and some Romex pool, PVC and chicken wire, Oop. and get some... Um, store-bought plastic at Menards, probably I'll do double layers and cover everything over to give it some warming trend time so that we can try to get more to harvest before fall is up. So I just wanted to say, um, for all of you who are watching me, thank you as always and blessings to you and yours in this gardening season as we prepare, this is what our fall garden looks like. You see, I'm gonna get some squash, I'm gonna get some tomatoes, and I'm probably going to stick in some seeds for lettuce, some cabbage, and more carrots. Um, wherever I can find space. As soon as these all come out and it's too cold, that's where they're going. And I'm going to head to the house next and show you what I got there. I bet there's a couple patty pan back there and I'm hopeful because I have a very small harvest today. But as always, blessings are bounty and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Goodbye.